M0FXB got some good news here for X6100 owners. There is new firmware, it's September 2024. So let's drag this onto our SD card. We'll read the, the changes as well. We use Rufus to just burn this onto our SD card. There's Rufus there. And I've made many, many videos doing the firmware. Let's read through the changes. So number one, adjust the gain allocation in the base band section, improve the received signal to noise ratio, reduce broadcast crosstalk and minimize birdies. Something that people have been asking for for a long time. Number two, adjust the spectrum water for automatic level tracking mode. Improve the signal contrast when dealing with strong signal, easier to distinguish between signal and noise. Add audio spectrum oscilloscope switch. Finally, we can turn off. And if you look in the photograph here, look, they're showing the scope across the full width of the radio. I just think this is fantastic that they've done that because we thought we had to get the X6200, but no, they're giving us, um, they're improving the X6100. Add or uh, fix a bug where MFK tags could not be saved. Optimize the noise reduction algorithm. Adjust the following CIV data, S meter, SWR meter, volt meter. Adjust the operation logic of the WLAN settings interface, F1 config etc. I think that is needed. It's all, it's a bit confusing. It doesn't pick up everything um, that we would expect it to pick up when it's connected to Wi-Fi and the figures don't look right in the settings. So F2 connect, disconnect. Uh, the selected SSID, F3 Wi-Fi switch on off, F4 toggle keyboard is displayed when the right button switch is selected, press it to change the state of the button switch. Press while the text box is selected to turn on off the virtual keyboard, okay, yeah. MFK knob adjust the selected item in the left list, VFO knob adjust the widgets selected on the right other description so virtual keyboard a lot on the virtual keyboard there okay number and decimal points can be input quickly through the hand the handle so that's good so the fist mic's going to work better adjust the operation logic of the bluetooth so they've improved bluetooth of course we've got to test all this haven't we um f1 is scan f2 connect disconnect the bluetooth device function three turn on off bluetooth power so they've they've increased improved bluetooth they've improved wi-fi they've given us a full width you know band scope waterfall which is what we wanted and they've made the the whole device have less birdie so let's have a look at this for now this is part one catch you soon links are in the description